Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. And for today, I'll be teaching how to color correct your footage. And in my next video, I'll be teaching how to color grade your videos. First, let me explain what color correction is. Just like how it sounds, it's correcting your image. So basically, if you're in a room with an orange light, basically the color white will change to orange and your camera is gonna get that. Unlike our eyes, it automatically fixes, your camera tends to not get the colors right. The best option to fix that is of course choose from the presets of your camera choosing a white balance preset. However, if you miss to do that and uh, there's always an option which is to fix that in post. Well, first I'd like to tell you Sony Vegas is not for a color correcting tool. You can always download your plugins from Red Giant Software or other places which is professional and uh, color correcting tool. However, Sony Vegas is not that. But you can always get out of some troubles from Sony Vegas. So now I'll be teaching you how to do that. So first, I'm going to import my footage and uh, open. Drag that down on our timeline. Perfect. Find a place where I could find it. Now, in this footage, you may not see any difference at all, but I do know the fact that the wall is white and the camera got it kind of bluish tone. It was tinted to blue. So I would like to fix that in the proper color. I'd like to change this wall to white. All right. And for Sony Vegas Pro 10, there's a good solution for that, which is called the white balance. So we go to video effects and find a white balance. And there you go. Just one click, you're done. So we bring the reset to none to our track. And if you don't have a Sony Vegas Pro 10, I can always show you the other option in Sony Vegas Pro 9. So stay tuned for that. Now, what we do is just drag the preview out so that you can see well what I'm doing and the preview set to full so that you could see all the details and everything. So what we do is click on the select white color, which look like a eyedropper tool. Click on that and choose a place which is white and you know that that is white. So don't always get fooled by the camera. So we like to choose which is bright. We don't want to choose from the shadows, but here. Now you may not see any difference from here. Well, sometimes Vegas does not do the job well, so you can always go back to reset to none and pick a color again. Now that looks better. Now, automatically, Sony Vegas made that to white. To prove that you did a great job, you can always bring up the brightness to full. And if, if the place that you chose to be white is perfectly white, you did a great job. You color corrected it. So as you could see in my footage, there's not a difference at all because my footage did not make tend to make a lot of mistakes. But if you have a footage which is really, really tinted to other colors, you will see the difference right away. All right, so just double click that to set there and you're done. You're, you corrected your footage just by one click. However, if you're using Sony Vegas Pro 9, there's another option. So let me just delete this plugin and put this back to my windows. And there's this thing called video scopes. Let me tell you what that means. So first you go to view and choose video scopes, or you can always use the hotkeys, which is control alt two. And this, I just brought it here and let's just go to all. Let me explain what this does. Basically, luminance tells you black and white. So basically it's the brightness and the darkness. So as you can see in my footage, it's kind of black and my camera tend to crush my blacks and that's not good. Um, my details has been killed, but what can I do? I already filmed it. So as you could see, my footage is dark and, uh, and you never want to go over 100% or below 0%. And in this case, this shows you the color. So this is red, which is R. This is MG, which stands for magenta. B for blue, CY for cyan. G for green and Y for yellow. My colors are stretching out to orange. That's because of my skin tone. And if you see, if you're always color correcting, you always wanna stay in this limit. This is called the broadcast safe. So if your colors are too saturated, this will pop up until there and you don't wanna have that and your videos will look terrible. So always keep that in mind. And I will explain further on while I'm color grading. Now, what RGB parade means, let me just make that big here. And this is how much blues you have and how much greens you have and how much reds you have in your 
clip right now, right, right where your cursor is. So I have too much blue in my footage, as you could see, and a little bit of green and red. Your videos is made of RGB colors, red, green, blue. If you have 100% of red, 100% of green, and 100% of red, your videos is totally white. And if you have 0% of those three, your footage is black. So to make this all equal, you need to increase green and red to make it white. So that basically corrects your footage, right? So making this balance is a simple way. So we need video scopes to monitor your color correcting range because your eyes is not always an option to color correct. Your eyes does not tend to remember all that stuff. Your eyes tends to fall to what you're doing. For example, you add a color curves and you made your video kind of contrast. You will get used to that. And uh, once you add more effects and effects, you will know that you did a harsh effect. And in color correcting, it's all about being natural. It's not about showing off that you did that effect, but you want to trick the audience that you did something, but the audience didn't notice that. So just take that in mind. The great tip I could tell you is to uh, look around other places, not just stick to your monitor. Look around your wall, your clock, your paper, and look back at your monitor, and you will see that you added too much effect. Now that being said, we would like to go to levels. You can always use the tool of color corrector, but that's kind of complicated and which is really hard for you guys. But levels is better, so trust me. And go to levels and bring down the reset to non preset to the track. Here we go. One thing that I don't like about Sony Vegas is that once you apply effects such as levels, you can't always take control of individual channels. So if you're going to add effects to red, you can apply effects to green. So that's a bad thing. But you can always add another effect. So now I'm in the red channel. We would like to increase red to balance with blue. And to do that, we go to input and, and the slider here. We like to drag that down until that's reaching the same limit of blue. There we go. Now we like to add another effect because Sony Vegas does not always work that way. And we go to green channel. We like to increase that as well. Perfect. That's just it. That simple effect could color crack it right away. So let me show you the before and after. Here's before. And here's after. That's just it. Simple as that. Now, since my footage is black, too crushed to be black, we would like to um, bring that back up. So we add another effect of called, which is called levels. Bring out the preview and set our RGB parade to waveform. That basically shows the brightness and the darkness. So first thing we're going to go is stay on the all channels and we don't want to touch input stat because it's already black. So we just like to increase input white. Uh, just around there. You don't want to go too much as I said. And uh, bring up the gamma. Just, just a little bit of touch and that's it. And there's already a huge difference. So as you could see, uh, let me show you. The right side is before and the left side is after. So yeah, that's simply it. That's how you color correct your videos. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if this helped, make sure you comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave your tutorial suggestions on my channel and I'll be happy to see it and make a video about it. Thank you for watching again. Stay tuned for my color grading episode on my next week and I'm out.